let's now create a form which we are going to use enter data into our our table okay so to create a form again we double click because we have so many tables so we need to always tell which table we are working on okay so we double click the student data to make sure it is the active table we are working on or you can have these tabs here the tables are there so right now we are working on the student data so we come to create then we click on the form we save this form we first give it a name control s so we are going to call it student data form you are just going to add the word form student data form <coughs> then we press ok now when you look at this form which we are going to use to enter the data if I click on last name and I type as you see it cannot type you cannot type anything in it so to activate it to be able to type in the text we come to view so we have three views we have form view layout view and design view so currently we are in the layout view under the layout view you cannot type anything so we go to the form view so under the form view now we can type in so as you see a L name now according to the description we put down here it says enter last name but should not exceed 12 characters so we enter the last name I will put them so okay so as you see student ID is done automatically it's not me put it then first name again enter first name but not more than 10 characters so i put enoch when it comes to date of birth i have a calendar this side so i will select the date of birth from this side then it comes to gender gender again remember it was a drop down we put person to choose from male or female so I'll choose that one as male. When it comes to fees, so I'll type the fees a person is supposed to pay. So let's put this one pays one million. So as you can see, the moment I click in this tab, the balance calculates automatically because so far the person has paid zero. So if a person pays 500 and I press the enter key, so as you see it's automatically giving me the balance of the person. One million months, it gives the balance. So after, now here it is showing I have record one of one. So to go to the next, to enter next person, I'll press enter on the keyboard or I can press this next record so if i press next record it takes me to two of two again i'll put the last name is opio first name joseph date of birth i select a date of birth from the calendar Or you can even just type the date of birth there. Remember, we begin with the date, then the month, then the year. You can equally type it there. Then this is mail. Fees is six hundred. So this person out of 600 has paid 400 and that's the balance so this time i'll go to press enter to go to the next record so you continue doing the same 
until when you enter all the students. This is Nachitio, Brenda, date of birth, I'll just type it there. So yeah, I select from, this is female, then fees, this one pays 500, out of 500, this one paid the entire 500. So as you see, a zero balance. Then I press enter. All right. So and so on and so forth until when you fill all. Now I want to see where the data has gone. On the left here, Microsoft Access helps you to arrange. As you can see, the tables are up because we first we first created the tables, then the forms come down, so it arranges them. So if we go back to our student data here, as you see, almost there's nothing in the database. So to see what you are put in the database, you can come to view, then you first go to the design view. So when this message comes, you just click OK. Then you go back to view and you choose data sheet view. So that is the data which we have entered into our table using the form. We can also edit the form. If we double click this form, we can edit it more. Like I can change the title of the form here. I can even put the logo and so forth. So under the views here, we have what we call the design view. So if you come to design view, you can change the title of the form. I call it Saint Mary's Data Student Data Entry Form. I can still change the font. Remember, this is now Microsoft Word. I can give it, change the font color, and make it bold. Area black. I can put it in the center. All of those are Microsoft Word. I can also give it a different fill color. So I have a logo here. I can. Put the badge of the school if I have it. I can, under the footer here, you can also choose the form design and you put a label so you can put a footer so you can put designed by by Musoke Martin. Okay, so. If I go back to form view, you can see how I've changed my form. And you can see the footer which I have put down there, designed by Musoke Martin. The logo, if I had a school badge, I would put there, it will act as a logo. So you can change the appearance of this form using the design view. You can even change this. Give it a different fill color. You can even change the wording and so on and so forth. So you can do any designs you want under the design view. The layout view shows you the layout. And the form view is done which you use to type in. So we meet in the next video where we are going to look at creating queries after putting data in a database then we need to query the data in the database